Amazing Spider-Man 3D Short Moon Review. Peter Parker is your average high school student. Bit geeky, but also quite likable. Unlike the other Peter Parker that we've seen in movies recently, he has a bit of a crush on Gwen Stacy, and she just might feel a bit of the same for him. One day, for reasons too stupid to actually explain, he's bitten by a spider. A sciencey spider, don't ask. And he starts to develop the powers of Spider-Man. And he has some trouble initially figuring out the powers, but then it makes him kind of invulnerable. And then the lizard comes around. Formerly Kurt Connors, nice guy, and now the lizard, and he's just kind of pure evil. Yeah, well, at least they're consistent with that after that point. And the lizard seems quite a bit more powerful than Spider-Man, so we have now established that the lizard kicks ass, and he is friggin' terrifying. He also has this real quality of intelligence to him. You can tell it's not just a wild animal, it's not just a reptile that happens to be the, you know, about two times the size of a normal man. No, it's a smart beast, and that makes him infinitely more dangerous. We also have Gwen's father, George Stacy, played deliciously by Dennis Leary, given Dennis Leary dialogue. Not an awful lot, but enough to satisfy, I'd say. And he doesn't much care for Spider-Man, because Spider-Man's interfering with police work. And he wears a mask, and, you know, criminals are the ones who wear masks. And he's a really great character, and I'm really glad that the police are finally a presence in a Spider-Man movie. You know, it's, it's almost as if New York didn't have cops until this movie in the Spider-Man movie universe. Yeah. This is somewhat the teenage version, and to an extent it certainly is dumbed down, oversimplified. But it does also have much more of an emotional core to it than the old, the Sam Raimi trilogy of Spider-Man. With us really, really caring about Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy and Peter's journey into becoming Spider-Man into becoming a hero from just a teenage boy. The action is great, really fast-paced, and very personal, very up-close. It's also much easier to, excuse me, follow what goes around, you know, who's doing what and why it has this or that effect. It's quite well paced, although do note that a lot of it is sort of just... It's, it's kind of a drama that happens to have a lead who dons a suit and goes out to fight crime. You know, it's, it's a drama first, a superhero movie second, sort of. But again, it does have great action. And it is a satisfying superhero movie, I'd say. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.